I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy, y'all the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, Rice Gang Clothing. Dot com for the merchandise, you heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all out there who watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. I got a couple things to break down as I sketch about what I've sketched about. There's nothing slicker than the tools in a rusty shed house. Lord forgive him, he's got them dark forces in him, but he also got a righteous cause for sinning. Them a murder me, so I gotta murder them first. Emergencies. Lucifer, Lucifer. You know what? I'm gonna talk about... Uh, I watched Murder Mook's interview again on Ratmatic where he said he's going to be pulling off the Halloween mask and exposing the dark forces. See, the thing is, I'm not really that superstitious, you know what I'm saying? I've never been superstitious and I'm not one to, I, I don't know. I've never seen any Harry Potter movies. I don't know about the Sorcerer's Stone or goat heads or rituals. I don't know anything about that stuff. What I talk about... It's battle rap. That's what I talk about. I talk about the actual battles. I talk about the things leading up to the battles. We've got almost 30 million views about battle rap. And I don't know about a lot of this shit that goes on. I don't know what these niggas do on their off time. And it should be respected in that matter. But you guys nowadays feel like I should be deeply involved on where people are at, where people are going, who they're hanging around, what they're doing. It seems a lot of the time like you niggas is more interested in what's going on with niggas than the actual bitches are. But that's a whole nother story, a whole nother movie starring different actors. Let's just bring it back to the battle rap. Like I said, I've never seen Harry Potter's or any of those type of movies and shit like that. I don't know anything about that stuff. So forgive me for not being as entertained in goat head blood rituals and all that shit. I don't know nothing about it. So it is what it is. Um, Tay Rock versus Murder Mook. This is a battle that, you know, it's been gaining a lot of traction. Tay Rock said some things today. Uh, you know, he's posting in his post, pound sign, black magic. You know what I'm saying? I guess. I don't know. He said 34th URL battle on Halloween. Spooky, because my opponent is 34 years old. Black magic. So guess what? If you reverse the four with the three, the fourth day, Jesus rolls on the dirt and all this other goofy shit that, you know, this is this is the shit that y'all are into. You know what I'm saying? Me is different. I don't my like what good say my life is different. My 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 house is different, my credit score is different, my bitches is different. I don't know nothing about none of this shit. But anyway, let's just keep because this is what y'all like. This is the type of shit that y'all like. So um, he says, Murder Mook will be my 34th battle on URL. He ain't got enough content to fuck with me, 10-31. He don't have enough content. Back to the word content. And you know the thing is, I've been doing this for like three, four years. We got almost 1,500 videos, 65,000 subscribers, almost 30 million views. Content, you know what I'm saying? Like, we reca I recap battles. I got content. But we'll talk about that later. So, Tay Rock says, um, he puts up a, a couple posts up, you know what I'm saying? He posts about uh, Murder Mook. I'm a F Mook. Slipping, I'm a catch him outside. Go to the weapon, start banging over top of the cars. Blake Griffin. Y'all hey! better tell him to get his shit together. I'm recharged. Post is about him. Then he made another post. I got this shit down to a science. This nigga can't fuck with me at all. Saying no, Mook can't mess with him at all. Remember, more black magic, more add more Harry Potter. I, I I actually Googled it, you know what I'm saying? Today, Harry Potter, the sorcerer. I started to look so I could see what I'm talking about. Because this is the shit that this is the goofy shit that y'all like, right? Let's keep that going. So um he basically spoke about uh the round times. Cause I know that was the thing. The reason why this blog was people were saying that him and Murder Mook have unlimited rounds. That was the recurring thing on Twitter today. Wow, something about an actual rap battle. Not no, you should believe this because I say you should. An actual battle. So, um, they said that there was unlimited round times. Not true. Uh, I spoke to Tay Rock. He said that 
They gonna let each other rap, like you rap, you get your bars off, but it ain't gonna be no 25 minute rounds, no 30 minute rounds, or no unlimited rounds, or no shit like that. And the reason why I said that was a good thing, because if you let Mook have unlimited rounds, this nigga's gonna be rapping for seven to 10 business days. It's gonna be fucking Gnome 18 by the time. This nigga ain't even done with his third round versus Verb yet. He's somewhere right now still rapping his third round for Verb. We can't let him get no unlimited. It's gonna kill the, if you let any of those guys get unlimited rounds, it's gonna kill the battle. It'll, it'll, it'll kill what could be a classic battle between these two. Um, like I said, letting the person rap is one thing. Letting them get they 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 three thirty, they four four thirty five. I'm not tripping with that. Him and Daylight had long rounds. You know what I'm saying? They, they was rapping four 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 thirties, maybe fives. That's great. But once you get to the point where you still rapping after people thought you was gonna end and then niggas in the crowd are starting to call time and you know it just it just kills the momentum of it so i think that a six maybe a six you know what i'm saying is like a cap but from what i when we spoke earlier he definitely said he's ready he said he ready his shit is together I'm sure Murder Mook is going to have his shit together. And during a lot of the MC's writing process, even the ones I'm cool with, I let them, you know what I'm saying, they do their thing. I don't, like, you know what I'm saying, intervene with any of the shit that these niggas got going on. Because uh, I like to hear a lot of their shit when it actually happens. Now, sometimes battle rappers may reach out and say, yo, I want to run my shit by you. I let them do that, but I don't reach out like, yo, let me hear your third, your third ready yet. I don't do that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd rather, if they reach out, that's one thing, but I'm not. But like certain battles, like a Rock versus Mook, I don't want to hear none of that shit in advance. And I told him that on the phone. Like he didn't offer it, I didn't ask him to. I said I want to hear it all when it actually happens because that's where the excitement of the whole shit comes from. Um, now, back to the Black Magic. Black Magic, Rock, 34th battle, the four, the three. It's on URL and all this other goofy shit. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I have no, and I don't understand why I should have to answer about shit that I don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas will really be in my comments or trying to at me on Twitter and ask me about this type of shit. Like why should I, if it don't have nothing to do with, I, I, I thought I stated this numerous times. If it's not about an actual battle or some shit leading to a battle, I don't know nothing about this shit. You know what I'm saying? But y'all niggas be wanting me to just make up shit. A lot of niggas just make up shit and just Maybelline. Maybe it's Maybelline the way niggas make up shit. Now, if Moot comes out with some definitive proof and pulls the wool over the eyes and lets the whole world know about some shit that we didn't know about, of course, nigga, that's what I get paid for. That camera gonna be on, we gonna be gone. Boom, 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 we gonna be talking. I did watch the Murder Moot interview in its entirety and he had things to say and they were interested. See, the thing is about Murder Moot, Murder Moot is a legend. There ain't no way you taking nothing from him. He's going to be on his shit. Trust me, I know he gonna be on his shit. I know it. I have no doubt in my mind. Especially if that do-rag got the flap down. Listen, it is going down. But Rock did say that there's no unlimited rounds. Like, they, they did not agree to have unlimited niggas. Just let niggas rap as long as possible. I heard, I heard, I heard the face-off is already done, so we'll probably be seeing the face-off pretty soon. I'm sure they're going to have a lot to get off their chest because between these two, these niggas been at like, I always felt like the energy for these two have never been that great anyway, you know what I'm saying? Even when they was in Dot Mob, I never seen, I have to think back. I never seen Murder Mook at a rock battle, like standing behind him and no shit like that. I seen Rex. But I've never seen Murder Moot. And I've never seen Rock behind Moot. You know what I'm saying? So even though they may have been in the same faction, it doesn't necessarily mean they supported each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jag just had a battle in Atlanta, and Cassidy lives in Atlanta, and he wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? So this shit is not uncommon when you have these situations where you'll be looking like, when they came up, it was custom for Moot and Rex to be behind each other, or Rex and Moot, or Rex and Shine, you know, y'all know Rex and Shine. Y'all niggas know how their relationship was. These niggas went all around the fucking globe together, battling state to state, city to city. Like when fucking Rex battled Young Ill. You shouldn't try here. Cause on the real, niggas can die here. 
Cause them hammers was bought when them plane tickets was purchased and nigga, we ain't fly here. You know what I'm saying? That fucking, I'm a procrastinating pimp. I still ain't put my Mac down yet, Ill. When Ill was like one of the dopest niggas doing this shit. Those days, you know, they used to roll by each other all the time. But like I said, I've never seen, I never heard of it. Mook really outwardly supporting. And I, in an interview, he did say a lot of things. He said that, you know, you did what you were supposed to do when you got in the light, but this is a case of another nigga, of a nigga who just got too big for his britches. And he was saying you should call up all of the dark forces and the niggas that you be having right together, you right together, so you could call Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, all these niggas that you be having right together, all of them niggas, ain't none of them better than me. Ain't none of them better than me. You could add all these niggas up together and ain't none of them better than me. Which makes it a dope point because I know Mook is gonna be in his motherfucking bag. But the moral of the story is nowhere that I've heard is gonna be no unlimited rounds. And I don't think these niggas should be having no unlimited rounds because don't nobody wanna see that shit. Don't nobody. What my nigga, uh, my nigga Showtime. Don't nobody want to see that shit. Don't nobody want to see that shit. 20 minute rounds, I never heard of it. And Mook can do that shit. He can easily go three more exits down the highway. He, he's shown niggas that he could do it with no slips, no blips, no stumbles, no fumbles, and all of that. That's what he do. But overall, Rock is playing along with the whole hashtag Black Magic and saying that his 34th battle is on URL and whoop de whoop and all this other shit. That's something that they play off of and what they do. You ask me, I don't know, my nigga. I be in my crib, in my studio. I don't be around these niggas. I don't be in their trailers. So when people try to add the I'm compromised or I'm with the you, nigga, I'm not in these niggas' trailers. I'm not on these niggas' flyers. I'm not at these niggas' events. I'm not in none of that shit. Now, just because I do crazy numbers that make it seem like it, niggas don't fuck with me, and I'm cool with that. But don't get it twisted and try to, I hate when niggas try to align you with niggas that you not really align. You know what motherfucking um, Lux said? Every time you align these niggas, I got to do some realignment. No, I, what I got going on is the shit that I made. You know what I'm saying? Me and my man Showtime SP. It ain't no, no fucking faction. Like, we ain't in the same lane, and I ain't on caffeine, and I ain't involved with none of that shit. That's why when the offer came, I saw it, I turned it down. So for the nerve of people to be like, I'm this and I'm that with these, how? Like, how? When I turn this shit down, all these, a lot of these niggas got deals with caffeine. I told them no. I guess I'm at the, what do you want me to put the email up to show you where I said no? I told them no, because I wanted to stay independent. I'm never working with nobody again. It will never happen. This shit crazy, man. But, like you said, it's it's true because somebody told you, you know what I'm saying? So a nigga told you, just like a nigga told you, uh, what nigga told you I was in the army, is I've never been in the army a day in my life. But a nigga told you that, so you believed it. That's how it goes. A nigga tell you I'm an astronaut on the weekends. A nigga will believe it because a nigga told you, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because a nigga told you. But anyway, salute to the subscribers, that notification gang. Salute to Tay Rock and his black magic and murder mook who's gonna pull the wool and expose what's going on. And I can't wait. If it happens, and he's got the, the, the angles and the bars, shit, I'm gonna recap it. We're not gonna speak around it. We'll speak to it. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. And I'm gone. Lord forgive him. He got some talk for us. Y'all niggas is crazy, man. But I still do this at a very high level. You know what I'm saying? You know what the motto is? It's like, if a nigga never said nothing positive about you, ever, on no spectrum, then why should you listen to something negative? If a nigga never said that positive, that's what I'll leave you with. I'm gone.